ITN brings us up to date with the latest headlines next on ITV and then New Age style promises a more relaxed approach to fashion in video fashion. Question. Name two new ways to talk to some really interesting people. Here's what you do. Just dial 0898 323232 and get on the party line. Or you can call 0898 444 and talk to a whole new group of people 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. What are you waiting for? There's a party going on right now. To test the thickness of the chocolate on a Jacob's Club, we enlisted the help of an expert. Mm. <laughs> now that is thick chocolate. Jacob's Club. Rhino tested for thickness. When I need you, I just close my eyes and I'm with Sheba, delicious pieces of meat, chosen and prepared with tender, loving care. It's only a heartbeat away. Listen, don't be afraid. Be very, very afraid. The Fly 2 on video. Rent it very, very soon. My sister's a greaser. It makes her prone to spot. Her cosmetic cleanser just isn't enough. But Clearasil cleanses pore deep to remove twice as much grease and help prevent spots. Now she uses it every day. It's really made a difference. Maybe it's gone too far. Spot the difference Miracle. with Clearasil. Well, as I mentioned earlier, it's St David's Day, March the 1st, hence the daffodils, and we thought we'd find out a little bit more about Wales's patron saint. But all we could find out was that he was believed to have been born near the beginning and to, died, to have died near the end of the 6th century. He was an elegant preacher, and he founded the monastery at Menavia, which is now St David's. He became the patron saint of Wales around about 1181, but we can't find out why or why we celebrate his day on March the 1st. I don't know if anybody can help. Well, in a couple of minutes, it's video fashion, but first over to ITN for the latest headlines. A strong earthquake has struck Los Angeles. There are no immediate reports of damage or injury. Tremors were felt in Santa Barbara and 150 miles to the south in San Diego, followed by a smaller quake to the east three hours later. Reports say buildings were shaken, cars and trucks were bounced off highways. In Beverly Hills, the quake created waves in swimming pools and sent goods tumbling off supermarket shelves. Authorities say the tremors measured 5.5 on the Richter scale. High winds and flooding have caused further damage throughout this country. In South London, a passenger train was derailed by a fallen tree. The front coach of the West Croydon to Victoria service left the track just outside Gypsy Hill Station. The driver escaped, although the tree pierced the cab. Six people were slightly injured. Five miles of coastline are now affected, the flood water moving ever closer to the towns of Abergelly and Pensand. As the tide ebbed, a window of clearer weather, and the repair gangs hurried back to the shattered sea wall. Weather's with us today. It's, you know, it's, the tide's coming over there now, but it's not too bad, you know, so we can keep going. This is the stretch of foreshore that's causing the most concern. The sea wall has simply disappeared. All the repair gangs can do is attempt to patch it up using stone that had already been washed away. For the time being, at least, the repair work is making headway. But engineers and villagers fear further storms, now predicted, could breach the wall again. The British Olympic javelin thrower Tessa Sanderson has won £30,000 libel damages from Mirror Group newspapers. She sued over articles in the Sunday Mirror and the People, alleging she'd taken another woman's husband. Conservative councillors in West Oxfordshire resigned from the party last night over the poll tax and government housing policy. One councillor said Mrs Thatcher did not have a clue about the effects of the tax on people. They'll keep their seats as independents. 
West Oxfordshire covers the Westminster seat of the Foreign Secretary, Mr Hurt. Earlier, the Environment Secretary, Mr Patton, admitted the new community charge could have a devastating effect on the economy, putting another half percent on inflation. We're also talking about an overshoot in terms of spending of three billion. Now, that's equivalent to 2p on income tax. That's it for now. We'll have more news later. He's coming to ITV. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, yeah, but Steve. Listen, some you win, some you lose. Crane's law, rule number one, never say die. Unless, of course, you're already dead, but people are too polite to point it out. I'm fed up with telling other people how to run their action. I want hands-on now. Don't buy anything until I tell you it's safe. Did you hear what I said? What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Would you trust the Chancer? Meet him next Tuesday at 9 on ITV. And a little later on Tuesday, first Tuesday, follows the trials and tribulations of a young lady who's trying to, well, get into a male bastion. There's never been a female firefighter in the South Yorkshire Brigade, but there is one now. Watch first Tuesday next week at 10.35.